Luxury comes in all forms, shapes and sizes. Nowhere else will you see this displayed than in the luxurious homes scattered all over the world. From palaces to skyscrapers, luxury gets redefined in so many ways that you just need to see it to believe it. So stay with us as we take an interesting look at 10 of the most luxurious mansions in the world. Buckingham Palace Rising from the heart of London, Buckingham Palace reigns supreme as our number one most luxurious mansion in the world. Valued at an astounding $6.7 billion, this iconic palace has captivated the attention of tourists hailing from distant corners of the globe. It comes as no surprise that the royalty of England resides in this abode, a place steeped in mystery, tradition and unparalleled elegance. When you first see the colossal Golden Gates, you just know that this is a world of unimaginable splendor. With 775 rooms at its disposal, Buckingham Palace fans out like an embodiment of regal living, but grandeur lies not just in numbers. The palace boasts the largest private garden in London, an expansive 17 hectares that is about 42 acres teeming with life. Nearly 1,000 trees, 325 varieties of plants, and 35 bird species find sanctuary within this verdant landscape, a crown jewel amidst the urban landscape. Every inch of the palace tells of meticulous attention to detail. Lavish furniture dressed up with intricate carvings, gilded decorations catching the light, and polished marble floors reflecting the magnificence above, all joined together to create an atmosphere of undeniable uniqueness. Let's embark on a virtual tour, weaving through the palace's most captivating corners. The white drawing room, one of the smaller staterooms, gives off a sense of intimacy. Here, the reigning monarch grants audiences and conducts small meetings. Adding a dash of intrigue, the king enters through a cleverly disguised door hidden within a mirror and cabinet. This playful secret passage embodies the palace's enigmatic aura, forever leaving you wondering what other hidden stories lie within its walls. Now we go to the throne room where the weight of history hangs heavy in the air, reminding us of the power and authority vested in the monarchy. In deep contrast, the gigantic ballroom, the largest room in the palace, removes its formal air during grand events, making it into a space for waltzes and celebrations. No tour of Buckingham Palace is complete without a visit. To the music room, where the melodies of countless royal occasions still linger in the air. But it's not all about grandeur. The gallery is filled with an impressive collection of artworks. And finally, the grand staircase. A majestic cascade of marble and gold is a fitting centerpiece, drawing your gaze upwards towards the secrets held within the upper floors. Antilia. Rising majestically over the bustling metropolis of Mumbai, India, stands Antilia. More than just a residence, this 27-story skyscraper is a great mark of human ambition, architectural brilliance and, of course, humongous wealth. Home to Mukesh Ambani, India's wealthiest man, the Antilia Tower redefines the meaning of luxurious living. Estimated to cost a staggering $2 billion, Antilia's facade blends seamlessly with the Mumbai skyline. Inspired by the lotus flower and the radiant sun, the building's design echoes elegance and growth. This 568-foot structure is a beacon of opulence in Mumbai, capturing the imagination of onlookers with its awe-inspiring design. The tower is a tribute to the fusion of grandeur and innovation, creating a living space that transcends the ordinary. Antilia's construction was no small feat of engineering. It required the expertise of hundreds of workers and cutting-edge technology. The building's unique design posed several challenges, but the team was able to overcome them to create a truly awe-inspiring structure. The tower's interiors are just as impressive as its exterior. From the grand ballroom to the private theatre, every room is designed to impress. The use of rare materials and intricate details creates a sense of luxury and opulence that is unmatched. A playground for the senses, the private theatre is a 50-seater space where you can watch the latest blockbusters in clear luxury like no movie theatre you have been in. Each room is enhanced with exquisite art and furniture, and for those seeking a truly unique experience, step into one of Antilia's snow rooms, a surreal escape from the Mumbai heat. Not only does it have extravagant interiors, but Antilia's Antilia boasts amenities that would make any billionaire envious. Three rooftop helipads, a dedicated health spa, and the most mind-boggling feature is the six-level underground parking, a space that could swallow hundreds of cars with ease. To maintain this architectural sanctum, a dedicated team of over 600 workers ensures everything runs smoothly. The huge size of the workforce required just shows that the task of maintaining this architectural marvel is serious business. But Antilia is more than just a luxurious home. It is also a symbol of India's growing economic power. The tower's construction was a major undertaking and it created jobs for thousands of people. You can consider it a showcase of the country's ability to create world-class architecture and design. While Antilia undeniably stuns with its grandeur, it has also attracted its fair share of criticism. Some view it as a symbol of India's widening economic disparity, its existence starkly contrasting with the lives of millions living in poverty. Others, however, hail it as a groundbreaking feat of engineering and design. Villa Leopolda, 
Nestled in Villefranche-sur-Mer within the Alpes Maritime Department on the French Riviera is the distinguished Villa Leopolda, spread across an expansive 7.3 hectares that's just about 18 acres of grounds. This detached villa has witnessed a history enriched by notable owners, each contributing to its legacy. Commanding a valuation of $750 million, this estate is the epitome of luxurious living. Constructed between 1929 and 1931, the current iteration of Villa Leopolda is the brainchild of American architect Ogden Codman, Jr. The villa's nomenclature pays homage to King Leopold II of Belgium, who gifted it to his mistress Blanche Zelia Josephine Delacroix, also known as Caroline Lacroix. Perched just a stone's throw away from the Mediterranean Sea, this architectural marvel is a harmonious fusion of luxury and French-inspired artistry. Boasting 19 deluxe bedrooms furnished with antique furniture and complemented by 14 bathrooms, the interiors are decorated with artwork inspired by the captivating beauty of France and the essence of European history a collection of art and antiques that befits its status as one of the most costly houses worldwide. Within the confines of this lavish villa, one encounters not only a bowling alley for recreational pursuits, but also multiple dining rooms that cater to a sophisticated lifestyle. The opulence extends to a movie theater adorned with old masterpieces and valuable marble sculptures, imparting an austere touch to the overall ambiance. The vintage allure of the home, rich in history and cultural significance, adds an extra layer of distinction to its grandeur. Due to its closeness to the Mediterranean, the residence offers breathtaking sea views from its terrace, providing a panoramic vista of the renowned French Riviera. The terrace not only serves as a vantage point for the splendid sea views, but also offers glimpses of the 1,200 trees of various varieties that envelop the property. Maintained by a dedicated team of 50 full-time workers, the vegetation surrounding the estate is meticulously cared for, ensuring a fresh and vibrant landscape throughout the year. A bird's-eye view reveals a majestic blue pool with a lounge area, where residents can indulge in leisure activities. The manicured hedges and meticulously sculpted statues contribute to an aura of true luxury that permeates the exterior. Sporting additional pools within the confines of the property, the outdoors also feature a fountain, a sports court for recreation, and a helipad for convenient access. The exterior is a manifestation of architectural splendor, seamlessly integrating these elements to create an unmatched living experience. Architecturally, Villa Leopolda exudes the charm of the Belle Epoque and is listed in the general inventory of architectural heritage of the region Provence Alpe Côte d'Azur. The villa has also left an indelible mark in popular culture, serving as the location for Lermontov's villa in the 1948 film The Red Shoes and appearing in Alfred Hitchcock's 1955 movie To Catch a Thief. Fairfield Mansion the sheer level of luxury available at Fairfield is matched only by the controversy behind its creation. This giant limestone Italian Renaissance home and its surrounding estate are located on the esteemed Fairfield site in Sagaponic, New York. This remarkable mansion is a toast to the extravagant lifestyle of billionaire Ira Rennert. Nestled amidst the breathtaking beauty of the Hamptons, Fairfield estate emerges as a true symbol of luxury and sophistication. The Fairfield mansion, boasting expansive grounds and a mesmerizing design, is a true marvel covering an impressive 110,000 square feet of living space across 63 acres. This residence is not merely a house, it is an extravagant work of art, rivaling the opulence of the most exclusive resorts and making an indelible mark in the realm of luxurious living. The construction of this 62,000 square foot and all its amenities wasn't cheap, as it required an estimated cost of 110 million US dollars. That's not all. The entire property was valued at around 249 million dollars upon completion, and today it would be listed for approximately approximately $500 million. The main house is a demonstration of luxury, featuring 21 bedrooms and 18 bathrooms. Beyond the colossal main mansion, the Fairfield site encompasses a playhouse and two substantial houses with a pool, further enhancing the estate's grandeur. The playhouse is not your ordinary recreational space. It includes a basketball court and a two-lane bowling alley. Additional features encompass billiards, two tennis and squash courts, a 164-seat theater large enough to stage a Broadway production, and a garage that can hold up to 100 cars. Some distinctive features that set the Fairfield Mansion apart are its on-site power plant, three additional swimming pools, a stunning synagogue, two courtyards and an orangery. No expense was spared in crafting this architectural marvel. The grounds are covered with meticulously manicured gardens, picturesque ponds and vast expanses of the property and experience the epitome of refined living in this exclusive enclave. Adding to the massiveness of the Fairfield Mansion are the controversies surrounding the estate which include neighbors' objections to plans for a 10,000 square foot private museum to house the $500 million art collection of its owner, Ira Rennert. Palazzo di Amore 
Palazzo di Amore, nestled in the prestigious neighborhood of Beverly Hills, California, is a singular residence of luxury and sophistication. In November 2014, it earned the distinction of being the most expensive residential complex in the United States, initially listed at a staggering $195 million for its grandeur. This extraordinary property was owned by real estate billionaire Jeff Green, who acquired it for around $35 million and undertook extensive renovations over several years with the collaboration of developer Mohammed Hadid, architect Bob Ray Offenhauser, and designer Alberto Pinto. Palazzo di Amore is a statement of opulence, boasting a completed house of 53,000 square feet, comprising 12 bedrooms, including a lavish 5,000 square foot master suite. The estate features 25 bathrooms, a 15,000 square foot entertainment center equipped with a bowling alley, a state-of-the-art 50-seat movie theater, and a discotheque. A 24-car garage, expansive grounds spanning 25 acres, and a wine-producing vineyard contribute to its beauty. The property's exterior showcases an infinity pool, a reflecting pool, and a tennis court, creating an oasis of luxury and relaxation. Aesthetically pleasing formal gardens and panoramic city-to-ocean views further enhance the overall grandeur. The estate is complemented by a guardhouse, private driver's quarters, guest house, wine cellar, spa, and parking facilities for approximately 150 cars. Villa Palazzo di Amore transcends the ordinary, presenting an estate of exceptional grandeur and privacy. Its Mediterranean-inspired architecture, large grounds, and commanding position on a 25-acre promontory offer scenic views of the city and the ocean. The entrance foyer exudes elegance with a double staircase, crystal chandelier, and a neo-Palladian entryway reminiscent of Italy's aristocratic manners. This majestic residence showcases elements of Napoleonic, neoclassical, and Belle Epoque architecture across its vast living space. It features a colonnaded dining room with wine-tasting quarters capable of storing 10,000 bottles in a temperature-controlled environment. The chef's kitchen is a culinary haven, elevating gastronomic indulgence to unprecedented levels. Amenities within Palazzo di Amore include a state-of-the-art entertainment complex with a stage, theater, ballroom, and bowling alley. The property's 12 exceptional bedrooms exude palatial opulence. The expansive grounds, secured behind three sets of double gates, boast a quarter-mile tree-lined drive leading to sparkling pools, terraced acreage, fountains, vineyards, swimming and reflecting pools, a tennis court, and a pavilion. Palazzo di Amore is more than just a residence. It is a masterpiece that revitalizes the art of the Renaissance garden. With endless gardens and a magnificent waterfall, it offers an extraordinary setting against the backdrop of spellbinding city vistas. The features, both interior and exterior, contribute to the unmatched allure of this Beverly Hills luxury vacation home, making Palazzo di Amore a true symbol of refined living and architectural brilliance. Xanadu 2.0 Prepare to be mesmerized by the visionary concept of home envisioned by a tech billionaire. Nestled in the picturesque overlooking Lake Washington in Medina, Washington, Xanadu, 2.0 is owned by Bill Gates. This awe-inspiring mansion, stretching across 66,000 square feet, features a modern Pacific Lodge style influenced by the materials indigenous to the Pacific Northwest. The roots of Xanadu 2.0 trace back to 1988, when the lakefront property was acquired for $2 million. The construction cost amounted to an impressive $63 million, determined to ensure absolute privacy. Gates invested an additional $14 million to acquire neighboring properties, creating an exclusive retreat for his family. Visitors step into the reception hall, beautified with a 22-foot ceiling which creates a grand and welcoming entrance, setting the tone for the opulence that awaits within. Carry on to seven bedrooms, 24 bathrooms, and an astonishing six kitchens strategically placed for utmost convenience, each crafted with precision and functionality to cater to the diverse culinary needs of its owner, family, and guests. The mansion's piece de resistance is the 1,000-square-foot dining room, offering an elegant setting for grand gatherings and fine dining experiences experiences for 200 guests. Additional amenities such as a movie theater, a 25,000 square foot gym, a steam room, and a sauna contribute to the mansion's opulent amenities. Intriguingly, one of the mansion's rooms has been transformed into a trampoline complex with a soaring 20-foot ceiling, reflecting Gates' playful side. Multiple garages, including an underground one for 10 vehicles, cater to Gates' love for supercars. What is a tech billionaire's home without all the tech bells and whistles? The mansion seamlessly incorporates technology into 
to its design, one of the most spectacular features of this technological marvel is an estate-wide server system that drives paintings projected onto computer screens, forming a single frame. The system also manages room climate and plays music through embedded wall systems. For Bill Gates, an aficionado of art and literature, the mansion serves to showcase his prized possessions in the two 100-square-foot library housing the renowned artwork Codex Lester by Leonardo da Vinci, acquired by Gates for $30.8 million. A large aquarium in the living room preserves rare marine life, while outdoors a 60-foot swimming pool, complete with an underwater music system that elevates aquatic experiences to new heights, and an artificial beach with sand imported from Hawaii add to the majesty. An artificial stream with trout and salmon enhances the natural ambience surrounded by tall trees. Valued at an impressive $147.5 million, the mansion is not just a residence but a visionary brilliance and the refined taste of one of the world's most prominent tech visionaries, Palais Boules, Bubble Palace. On a rocky outcrop of the Massif de Lesterel mountain range on the French Riviera sits the legendary Le Palais Boule or Bubble Palace. Once owned by the late iconic designer Pierre Cardin, this architectural gem is a celebration of avant-garde design and luxurious living, spanning 13,000 square feet and embedded into a cliff on a 2.1-acre property. Originally constructed over 14 years and completed in 1989, Le Palais Boule is the magnum opus of Hungarian architect Antti Lovag. Lovag, a pioneer in spherical architecture designed this unique compound for French industrialist Pierre Bernard. The house comprises 29 rooms, a 500-seat open-air amphitheatre overlooking the Mediterranean, a reception hall and various amenities housed within interconnected domes that inspired its distinctive name. The cave-like domes, built from reinforced wire mesh spray-coated with a concrete mix, offer a harmonious blend of nature and architecture. The 2.1-acre property is spread across six levels, featuring gardens and three pools, creating a luxurious and private oasis. Oasis. Each dome points to Lovag's belief that straight lines are an aggression against nature and curves provide a more natural environment for human mobility. Pierre Cardin, the second owner who acquired the property in 1992, envisioned Le Palais Boule as a private events venue. Cardin transformed it into a haven for magical evenings, unforgettable parties and celebrity gatherings. The property reflects Cardin's personal touch as he added the outdoor amphitheatre overlooking the Mediterranean and rented out the estate for prestigious events. The interior the interior of Le Palais Boule is a labyrinthine marvel with few dividing walls and doors, allowing rooms to seamlessly merge. The residence boasts 11 baths and 10 bedrooms, each individually decorated by contemporary artists such as Jérôme Tisserand, Daniel Yu and François Chauvin. The furnishings and artworks, including custom creations by Lovag and Cardin, are on display all over the interior. Cardin once described Le Palais Boule as a place where curves and its softness make me see the shapes of a woman, of a mother. The central palm terrace, perfectly positioned for views of the sea and elliptical and circular openings throughout the home frame panoramic views of the Mediterranean, making the property even more desirable. The property has an estimated jaw-dropping value of $420 million, making it one of the most expensive properties in Europe. Impressively, the French Ministry of Culture has listed Le Palais Boule among its national historic monuments since 1999, recognizing its architectural significance. Le Palais Boule is a timeless masterpiece that escapes the boundaries of conventional design. With its iconic domes, panoramic views and luxurious amenities, this architectural wonder continues to captivate those who appreciate the fusion of avant-garde vision and opulent living. Odeon Tower Penthouse in Monaco, where a staggering one-third of the population boasts millionaire status, the epitome of luxury is embodied in the sky penthouse at Tour Odeon. The Odeon Tower, a double skyscraper located in Monaco, emerges as a distinctive architectural marvel, breaking a long-standing unofficial ban on skyscrapers. Monaco, a country on the tip of everyone's tongue, saw the completion of the Odeon Tower in 2015. This made it the first skyscraper to be built in the last 30 years. Odeon Tower also sparked significant controversy due to to its towering presence and potential impact on historical landmarks. Standing proudly at 170 meters tall with 49 floors, the Odeon Tower boasts 259 residences, 10 subterranean levels and 543 parking spaces. The construction was not without its fair share of debates, given the challenges associated with building skyscrapers in a city known for its aversion to them. Regardless of the controversy, the Odeon Tower has become a significant landmark in Monaco. Situated at 30 Avenue de l'Annonciade 
in the La Rousse Saint Roman ward of Monaco, the Tour Odeon Tower offers breathtaking 360 degree views over the azure waters of the Mediterranean. This location within the Golden Citadel of Monte Carlo places the residents in the heart of the city state, amidst the extravagance that defines Monaco. Lavotto Beach in the Ligurian Sea below serve as a picturesque backdrop to this residence, contributing to its status as a symbol of extreme luxury. The Sky Penthouse, perched atop the Odeon Tower, takes luxury living to unprecedented heights. Priced at an estimated $387 million, it is one of the most expensive homes in the world. The penthouse spans five stories and covers a remarkable 35,500 square feet, offering panoramic 360-degree views of the Mediterranean. Its location in the Golden Citadel of Monte Carlo places it at the epicenter of wealth and opulence. Designed by architect Alexandra Giraldi and developed by Group Marzocco, the Sky Penthouse features not one but two rooftop circular infinity pools linked to a balcony by a water slide, creating a unique and lavish living experience. The penthouse occupies the 45th to the 49th floor, providing residents with a spectacular vantage point to enjoy the beauty of Monaco. Boasting five main bedrooms and three staff bedrooms, the living space is designed to evoke a sense of grandeur and sophistication. The bathrooms, with features like rainfall showers, marble jacuzzis and floor-to-ceiling windows, offer a unique blend of comfort and breathtaking views of the Mediterranean. Private chefs are stationed in each of the five kitchen dining areas, crafting culinary masterpieces fit for royalty. The Sky Penthouse is ready to spoil you with numerous amenities, including a private cinema, a state-of-the-art gym with city and sea views, a sauna, and an indoor pool. Additionally, the penthouse offers the services of a chauffeur and a 24-hour concierge. The One Initially priced at a staggering $500 million, the one was meticulously crafted to be the most expensive private residence not just in the United States, but possibly the entire world. A brainchild of Paul McLean, an acclaimed Irish architect renowned for designing opulent properties like Loraway 1 and 2, Seabreeze and Skylark in the Hollywood Hills, the one is distinctively characterized by its modernist mega-mansion aesthetic. Requiring over eight years and costing at least $165 million to construct, the one is a signpost of luxury living that goes past the conventional meaning of what a home is. Positioned high on the hills of Bel Air, this 35,000 square foot masterpiece presents itself as a rectangular mass enhanced with floor-to-ceiling glass and cement, emanating an almost corporate retreat ambience rather than that of a private residence. Looking like a James Bond villain's house, the one sprawls across nearly 10,000 square meters or 105,000 square feet. Its layout encompasses 21 bedrooms, 49 bathrooms, 7 water features, and an array of facilities facilities that make it more than just a home. Among its lavish offerings are a commercial-scale spa, a beauty salon, a cigar room, a running track, a four-lane bowling alley, a full-size cinema, and a substantial nightclub nestled in its basement. Designed with an audacious disregard for privacy, the one features a 50-car garage equipped with two carousels, accompanied by a 380-square-meter, or about 4,000-square-feet, guest house beneath the main living area, a two-story executive office complete with a balcony and a servant. Residence boasting half a dozen bedrooms further amplifies the property's grandeur. The entrance is a marble bridge over a featureless moat, leading to a solid marble recessed front door that opens automatically through a biometric scan. The foyer, beautified with white marble tiles and suede textured walls, introduces visitors to an ostentatious display of grandiosity. The main living room, almost like a four-season hotel, showcases sofa arrangements amidst a sea of white marble. The terrace lawn, decorated with an enormous Murano glass sculpture, serves as a backdrop to the panoramic views of a smoggy Los Angeles. Multiple kitchens, including a well-equipped main kitchen and an outdoor kitchen with ice machines, dishwashers, warming drawers, and a rotisserie, cater to culinary desires. A glass-walled, temperature-controlled wine cellar complemented by champagne lounges contributes to the property's indulgent ambience. The master bedroom, perched above the main swimming pool, boasts a glass-walled pool, emphasizing the lack of privacy on the property. His and hers multi-room walk-in closets, lined with Tiffany display cases and separate sauna and steam baths for men and women elevate the concept of opulence. A full-scale nightclub in the basement, complete with a pool, gigantic bar, and space for 900 guests, adds to the entertainment repertoire. The property also houses a full-scale restaurant, a kitchen, a pool table lounge, and a four-lane bowling alley. Ample staff quarters accommodating at least 28 people and a laundry room equipped with a dozen commercial washing machines and dryers are strategically positioned to manage the massive property. Villa Les Cedres 
Want to see what kind of home $221 million can buy you? The answer lies within the walls of Villa Les Cedres, gracefully located on the picturesque French Riviera. This is no ordinary mansion, it is a magnificent pearl that extends across 35 acres, boasting 14 bedrooms, Olympic-sized pools and stables, accommodating a regal complement of 30 horses. This one-of-a-kind mansion is owned by the Ukrainian billionaire Renat Akhmetov, took possession of it in 2019 from the Italian beverage company Campari. Villa Villa Lecedrus reached the zenith of its glory when King Leopold II of Belgium, one of Europe's wealthiest royals, became its owner. Pouring vast fortunes into the estate, King Leopold II enhanced its splendor with stately rooms, wood-paneled libraries, and a unique art collection. In 2016, the villa underwent a transition, becoming the property of the Italian beverage company, Campari Group. When it comes to the interiors, no luxury was spared. Everywhere is glazed with hand-painted ceilings, intricate moldings, silk panels, and gold leaf. Keeping the the place cozy are marble fireplaces carved from single blocks of onyx anchoring rooms that radiate opulence. Taking a stroll outside, grand wrought iron gates and lush gardens worthy of Marie Antoinette welcome visitors, creating a dazzling first impression. Designed by landscape architect Achildouin, the 35-acre grounds surrounding Villa Les Cedres are a spectacle in themselves. Thousands of trees, orchards, flowering plants and additional structures like staff apartments and greenhouses are sprinkled all around the estate. For playtime, tennis courts, Stables and access to the sea ensure every conceivable luxury is within reach. Villa Les Cedres shelters an art collection valued at over $120 million, a legacy of King Leopold II's passion for fine art. With great works acquired from across Europe, the villa boasts pieces by renowned painters such as Gustave Klimp, Vincent van Gogh, Claude Monet and many more. All told, there are over 500 museum-caliber pieces, so the villa serves as a living museum, showcasing the refined tastes of its former owner. Despite the rich history of this lavish mansion. What makes Villa Les Cedres lovely lies in its unequaled amenities, curated to pamper royalty and billionaires alike. Everything in it is so fabulous, even down to a special carriage driveway for stylish entrances, the estate leaves no desire unfulfilled. Rounding out the splendor of the palatial ballroom, private cinema, downstairs bowling alley, banquet rooms, indoor swimming pool, rejuvenating spa, sauna, and gym, which all contribute to the estate's modern luxuries. And that concludes today's tour of these incredible mansions. If you have a particular favorite, please share your choice in the comments section below. Also, for more captivating videos, click on one of the cards showing on your screen now.